Good morning. Here we are with another project. And if you know me at all, you know what kind of project this one's going to be. Another scrappy one. I, I do other things other than scrappy, but here lately I have been having so much on my scrappy quilts. And I've got so many scraps back in the back room that I need to go through, so this is a perfect time to use them. I'm going to take a whole bunch of scraps from my buckets. And then I'm going to take a white jelly roll. You don't have to use the white jelly roll. You could easily just cut your strips of the white any size you want. I'm going to do them the two and a half inch strips. So I figured what better way than to use the jelly roll instead of cutting my strips. And then I'm going to use this scrap tape. This stuff is marvelous. Whoever came up with it, kudos to you. Great invention. This is a strip that is two and a half inches wide, which is why I am also using two and a half on this. You don't have to, you can use different size here versus different size here. They make five inch. We have this here in the shop too, but I'm going to use the two and a half and I'm going to use the two and a half to keep it uniform. I've seen it several different ways and it all looks good. We're over at the sewing machine now and we are ready to sew. I have me a box of pre-wound bobbins so that I don't have to go anywhere. I can get the sewing. I got my water and my snack. I am not going anywhere for quite a while. I've got the tape and the jelly roll. Now I'm not gonna use the jelly roll just yet. I'm gonna hold it to the side, but I've got this tape and I'm gonna open it up. This is that scrap tape. I love this stuff. We're going to open it up and we're going to start attaching scraps to this tape and i've got me a stack of scraps i've got more over here too but i've got me a stack of smaller size scraps that i'm going to attach to this tape and then we're going to turn it into a quilt just from scraps with the exception of this the jelly roll so the rest will be scraps we are going to take this tape and take the plastic off of it and this is water soluble so you don't have to worry about this uh, messing up or being in the quilt or whatever once it's washed it'll disappear it'll go away so you don't ever have to worry about this we're just using this as a base to know where to put the scraps so let's get started so here we are with the tape we've got it rolled out a little bit now you can attach these strips to the tape and do like we're going to do and keep on going with the roll or you can cut it off to the length you want. I'm going to keep going with the roll and cut it to the size I want it later. But I'm going to take my first strip, my first little piece of fabric, and I'm going to put it right side up at the end of that tape. My tape ends right here. It's hard to see it under this table. So there you go. There's the end of my tape. I'm going to put this along the end of the tape. I'm going to take another piece and put it right sides together. What I want to make sure of is that these scrap pieces are wider than this tape, at least as wide or preferably a little bit wider. So these two are, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance to adhere these two pieces to the tape. Then I'm going to take it out cut my thread and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take it to the ironing board over here and I'm going to iron it open. So I've ironed it open and I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to do the same thing. Now that I've got that one ironed, I'm going to stick another piece on here and I'm going to line it up and sew a quarter inch seam. And I'm gonna keep going with this until I fill this tape. Now there's multiple ways you can do this. You could do them straight like I'm doing, or you could put it on here crooked and just fill the thing with scraps, all different directions. Like put it this way and put some more, however you wanna do it. But I'm gonna make mine all straight. I'm gonna iron it as I get to it. And now I'm ready for my next piece. So I am going to keep doing this till I fill this tape up. I am still attaching the fabric to my tape, but I decided midstream that I didn't want to have this 
attached the whole way because I didn't want to keep fooling with it. So I put it to the side. I cut it as long as I wanted my quilt wide. So here's my fabric and here's how wide I want the quilt. I'm going to keep going until I run out of the tape with so that I have fabric covering that tape. So I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just going on here and I'm sewing it with about a quarter inch seam allowance. You don't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered up. Then I'm taking it to the ironing station that's right beside me, ironing it open and going to the next one. I did go ahead and take my scraps and I cut them into the sizes that I wanted them instead of it being bigger pieces. So like this is perfect for this one. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to sew it the lengthwise because it does cover this whole tape. So I'm gonna sew this one on and I'm gonna keep going till I run out of tape and then I'll be back. Now we have our first strip that is covering the tape. See the tape on the back and the front has the fabrics. This was as wide as we wanted the quilt. So I've done this one strip and I'm gonna take it over to the cutting table now. I'm gonna turn it upside down to where my tape is showing. And then I'm gonna line this ruler up to the mark of two and a half because that is the width of this tape. And it should cut off all of this extra fabric on the side. So I'm gonna cut it off. And I'm gonna do that all the way down this side of the tape. Line up that tape and line it up with the ruler. That gives me a clean cut on that side of the tape. I'll just discard all this little shavings over here. I'll flip this around and do the same thing on the other side so that now my strip should measure two and a half inches. Line it up straight. Line the ruler up. And cut off the excess. When I get this done, I will end up with a two and a half inch strip of nothing but scraps. So it gives me a whole strip of scraps, which are smaller scraps, which now have a purpose in this strip. I'll discard those and then I'll take this jelly roll. And again, you can use yardage and cut your own two and a half inch strips. I do that a lot. This time I am not doing that. I am going to do it this way. Then I'm going to take one of these strips and open it up, if I can get it open. And I'm gonna line it up to this strip that I've already made, and I'm gonna sew them lengthwise together. But this is longer than my jelly roll strip. So what I'll have to do is, because I made that strip longer, you don't have to, you can make it this long if you wanted to. I'm gonna sew two of these strips together end to end so that now it's longer. Then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew right sides together down this long side so that when it's opened up, it looks like this all the way down. And then I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna make these sets like this, set it to the side, make another set, set it to the side. And when I have enough, I'm gonna start sewing them together white scrappy, white, scrappy, white, scrappy, white, scrappy, until I get it however big I want to get it. And then my quilt will be done using mostly scraps. 
Now the two and a half inch strips are not scraps, but the rest of the strip will be scraps. So let's keep going. Now I've got my first strip sewn together and ironed. So what I did now was I measured this set and it's 60 inches wide. So I went ahead and then took my strip, my tape, and I cut it into strips so that I don't have to wonder how long and measured at the end, it's all measured. So all of my pieces are cut into 60 inches strips, 60 inch strips. That gave me 15 strips out of that one roll of the tape. So we're gonna make these 15 strips and sew them together like this and sew all the strips together. And then we're gonna see if we need to add more or if we leave it as it is. When I'm ironing my strips, you want to iron towards the scrap side. If I had used a black or something like that, it might not matter as much, but since mine is white, I am pressing to the side with the scraps. Then when I get this strip done, I'm going to attach it to the other strip. Then I'll just keep going until it gets big enough to my liking. We're just about done with this. And now we are. So we're going to take this strip and our previous strip and we're gonna line them up so that they go like this. Let me get it right. You're gonna want the white or the background, the scrappy, the white, the scrappy. So I'm gonna lay these two on top of each other, right sides together, and I'm gonna sew down this seam all the way down these strips at a quarter inch. Another thing I like about this pattern is nothing lines up. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to sew it at a quarter inch. There's no seams to match up. There's no anything. You just sew a quarter inch straight down the whole length of these strips. You can pin it together and then sew it or just sew it down the quarter inch. It is a rainy, dreary day here today, but you know, those are my favorites. I tend to get a lot done on those days, and I just like being inside when it's raining like that. got my quarter inch foot on so that I know the lining of where my fabric is supposed to go. So I'm gonna keep going till I get to the end of this strip and I'll meet you back here. I've got my two strips sewn together now and they're gonna look like this. Now remember you don't have to sew them straight across like I do like I did in this one. You could put them diagonally all which ways. It doesn't matter as long as you cover that tape. That's all your object is, is to do. So this is what ours is looking like. I'm going to keep going and add some more strips to make it uh, the size I want it. And also remember that this backing, you will not have this in here all the time because it is water soluble. 
So don't use water in your iron because it will dissolve that. So for now, this is gonna stay in here. I'm gonna keep going with my quilt and adding strips to it and we'll come back. There are some projects that I don't feel need to have every step ironed. Different people feel different way about that, but there's some projects I don't iron as I go. This one is definitely one I do iron as I go because I need those seams not to buckle. If I didn't iron each step of these, then when I put the next one down, there may be a little buckle right here and you have a little loop. I don't want that. So I want to make sure I've ironed it flat each and every piece I put on here. So I'm gonna keep going, ironing as I go, and I'll meet you back here when we get a little further along with the process. You know, when you're going through and making a quilt like this, you have a lot of time to think while you're doing it. And I thought of another good use for this tape in this kind of quilt pattern. If you've just finished a quilt that's kind of like a theme, maybe a uh, college football team quilt or something like that, and you have a lot of scraps in that theme, this would be great to use up the scraps because you're going to have a lot of little pieces generally after doing a quilt. So this would be great theme related, whether it's all children's prints or just whatever. Well, I've got my top done. I didn't want it too terribly big, but this is pretty big anyway. So I've got this done. Then I'm going to, I haven't really decided how I want to finish this. I think what I'm going to do is do a white border around the entire quilt, all edges, and then come back and I've got a bunch of squares that were cut for a different project. And I might, I'm probably gonna slice them in half and put them around the edging and make it scrappy around that outside of the white border as well. But this is what it turns out to be with using these strips. Now they also have the bigger one, so you could do wider strips, but this is the strip I used, the scrap tape I used. I am loving it. Turned out cute, great throw, and quick, easy project using nothing but scraps and then some white to go with it. You don't have to put the white, but what a great fun way to use a bunch of scraps up. You know me, I love my scraps. So until next time, you guys try it, have fun with it. If you have fun with it, if you like it, if you make something, send us a picture of it. Show us what it looks like. We are excited to see what you guys do as well. So until next time, you guys have a great day and happy quilting.